Really, Australia? Before I begin, I'd like to ask a question to any Australian viewers I have. Why are your powers that be, both in government and in business, so fucking stupid? For those of you that don't know, and if you're watching an internet video, you've probably been under a rock. Uh, a few days ago, Australia, Target of Australia, uh, pulled uh, Grand Theft Auto V from their store shelves because there was a petition uh, that was that basically said uh, GTA V encourages violence against women. I want this gone. It offends me. And then shortly thereafter, Kmart of Australia followed suit. I keep checking the calendar and it says we're in 2014. It feels like 2004. And then, yesterday and today, and this is why I'm making the, this video, by the way, Kotaku of Australia defended uh, Target and Kmart of Australia's actions, and Gamasutra just jumped for joy at the fact that it happened at all. What in the actual fuck? You guys are video game websites. You're supposed to be defending the rights of the consumer to be able to consume, not jumping for joy at the fact that something got pulled because my feels. Are you... <clears throat> It's weird too. It always it's if it's not America, it's Australia or vice versa. These two seem to be the predominant countries as far as stupid shit is concerned with video games. I don't get it. It it boggles the mind. It really does. I I just I'm having to watch my blood pressure because I'm gonna I'm gonna burst. It. This remind it's been a startling trend I've noticed lately. Something offends someone in some way. They start a petition to get it pulled from store shelves, and it seems to be working. This happened just a couple months ago with the Breaking Bad action figures uh, at Toys R Us. Someone was offended by the fact that there were Breaking Bad action figures sold at a store because reasons. And they petitioned uh, Toys R Us to have them pulled, and Toys R Us did, and I went, well, fuck me. I didn't even... I don't... I'm that one guy that hasn't watched Breaking Bad just because I've never gotten the time, but from what I've seen of it and the fact that I loved Brian Cranston even before Breaking Bad, uh, I know that it's really good. My, my issue with that and, again, with this is that Someone being offended by something should not affect everyone else's right to buy products. In what sane world does someone who would not have bought this thing have more rights than the people that will buy this thing, uh, according to store logic? It, it, I can't figure this one out, and I'm seeing it more and more, and this is a domino effect. These two stores in Australia did it. There's going to be more. It's going to come to America soon. Uh, any video, If this keeps dominoing, soon any video game that offends anybody will no longer be able to be sold. It's astounding how... It's like we're going through the early 2000s again, except this time, they're actually doing shit! Which, by the way, I love... At the beginning of Gamergate, the argument was, uh, uh, we don't want to ban video games. Uh, you all are just paranoid and delusional. Oh, ye of little faith. Anytime anyone says, we're not coming for your games, we don't want to ban anything, or something along those lines, that just means we don't think we can actually get it banned, but we would love to get it banned. Ta-da! 
Because these same people that were saying, we're not coming for your games, we're not coming for your games, are now celebrating up from the rooftops that GTA V uh, got taken off the shelves in Target and Kmart of Australia. Coincidence? This is just insanity. I'm kind of pissed at it. And I'm going to enjoy the 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 domino fallout that's going to happen. Like I said, if it happens, all it takes is one. If it happens in one store, it's going to spread. This is going to be a fun next couple of months seeing what happens where and who petitions what to get what thrown out. Someone keep a uh, score sheet. Peace out.